Hey everyone, I'm Alvin D. Tranquilan from BSF3A, a student of Ball Island State University, Calapi Campus. Today, I am here to introduce and report to you on all about the sea urchin. So, what? Well, let's talk about the sea urchin. The classification of sea urchin is from Kingdom Animalia, Phylum Echinodermata, Subphylum Echinozoa, Class Echinoidia Lesky from 1778. Next is the description of the sea urchin. Let me introduce to you that sea urchin is typically ranged in size from 3 to 10 cm or 1 to 4 inches, although the largest species can reach up to 36 cm or 14 inches. They have a rigid, usually spherical body bearing movable spines, or we can call that the invernacular, the spines or the tunuk tunuk in the sea urchin or swake which gives the class name from the Greek Echinos or Spine, which is the Tunok Tunok guys, in vernacular. The name urchin is old word from Hedgehog, which sea urchins resemble. They have archaically been called sea hedgehogs. The name is derived from Old French Hericum, from Latin Aricius or Hedgehog. Like other echinoderms, sea urchin early larvae have bilateral symmetry, but they develop fivefold in the regular sea urchins, which are roughly spherical bodies with five equalized size parts radiating out from their central axis. The mouth is at the base of the animal and the anus at the top. The lower surface is described as oral and the upper surface is aboral. Several sea urchins, however, including the sun dollars and the oval in shape with the distinct front and rear ends giving them the degree of bilateral. Symmetry in these urchins the upper surface of the body is slightly doomed, but the underside is flat while the sides are devoid to tube feet. This irregular body from has evolved allowed the animals to burrow through sand and soft materials. Next is the sea urchins. Sea urchins look like a big crustaceans. They use these spines for protection against predators. So we all know what's the use of their spines or the tunuk no, it is because for their protection. The spines are also acts as the stitch to keep their bodies up to ground so they can chew feet and pull them around. So the spines can also be used for them not for the protection but also to move away along from the other place. They can eat mostly algae. They live mostly attached to rocky surfaces which protect them from waves and tide surges. They have become a popular item to eat and are being harvested in alarming numbers. Sea urchins are dioecious, having separate male and female sexes. Although no distinguishing features are visible externally, in addition to their role in reproduction, the gonads are also nutrient storing organs and they're made up of two main types of cells, the germ cells and the somatic cells called nutritional phagocytes. Regal sea urchins have five gonads lying underneath the interrambulacral regions of the test, while the regular forms mostly have four within the hindmost gonad being absent. Heart urchins are three or two, and their development during early development of the sea urchin embryo undergoes ten cycles of cell division, resulting in a single epithelial layer developing the blastocoel. The embryo then begins the gratulations. It's a multiple process which dramatically arranges its structure by 
and vegetation to produce the three germ layers which is involving and epithelial mesenchymal transition primary mesenchyme cells move into the blastocoil and become mesoderm. It has been suggested that epithelial polarity together with color cell polarity might be sufficient to drive menstruation in sea urchin. An unusual feature of sea urchin development is the replacement of the larvae's bilateral symmetry by the adults of the five symmetry during the cleavage mesoderm and small microns are specified at the end of gastrulation. Cells of these two types of colmic pouches in the rival stages and the adult women grows from the left colomic pouch. After metaphorsis, the rudiment grows to become the adult. The animal digital axis is established before the egg is fertilized. The aura abdo or the abor axis is specified early in the cleavage. And the left right axis appears in the late grassula stage. As you can see, this is the development of a regular sea urchin. So let's, let's move to the traffic level of sea urchins. Sea urchins feed mainly on algae, so they are primarily herbivores, but they can feed on sea cucumbers and a wide range of invertebrates, such as mussels, polycates, sponges, brittle, stars, and crinoids, making them omnivores, consumers at range at trophic levels. Their, their predators and parasites and diseases. So, mass morality of sea urchins was first reported in 1970s, but diseases in sea urchins had been little studied before the advent of aquaculture. In 1981, bacterial spotting disease caused almost complete immorality in juvenile Cydocin trotus, Depressus, and Hemisin trotus polkerimus, both cultivated in Japan. The disease cured in succeeding years. It was divided into a cool water spring disease and a hot water summer from another condition. Bug sea urchin diseases cause loss of spines and skins. Lesions is believed to be bacterial in origin. The adult sea urchins are usually well protected against most predators by their strong and sharp spines which can be venomous in some species. So the small sea clingfish lives among the spines of urchins such as Nyadema spaderadia Adult males choose two feet and adult females move away to, to fed on shrimps, eggs, and mollusks. The feeding habits of the sea urchins are omnivores, meaning they eat both plants and animals. However, they feed mostly on algae. Along with the decomposing matter, their spines are used for protection and trapping food. Their prey is sea urchins are the prey to many predators in their marine environment. And the sea urchin organs. Inside a sea urchin is dominated by a large coiled digestive system which consists basically a tube joining the lower mouth to the anus on the upper surface. In regular echinoids, the mouth opens into a esophagus or the OE that initially runs through the center of the Aristotle's lantern. Their fertilization is four important events in the sea urchins are the acrosome, reaction of the sperm, sperm egg fusion, the cortical, the cortical reaction of the egg, the formation of fertilization coat. The acrosome of the reaction is triggered by contact of the sperm with their jelly coat. A complex extracellular matrix surrounding the egg. This causes the rapid fluxes of ions, fusion of the acrosome membrane with a plasma membrane, and the extension of the acromosome filament. One of the consequences of the sperm egg fusion is 
insertion of sperm plasma membrane into the egg. Plasma membrane producing a mosaic patch. The sperm the components inserted persist in the development can be identified by quantity methods after gastrulation. Another consequence of sperm egg fusion is cortical reaction in which thousands of versicles fuse with the egg surface, thereby adding their membranes to the egg plasma membrane and releasing their contents upon the egg surface. The cortical reaction causes a detachment of the egg, glycolate leaks or vitellin membrane, and this layer is elevated from the egg surface. Contents of the cortical granules combines with the cortical granules combined with the outer of vitellin membrane by a hardening reaction to produce the fertilization of coat. Hardening involves a fertil per the hardening involves a peroxidase mediated tyrosine cross-linking requiring a burst of, burst of oxygen consumption by the egg to generate the hydrogen peroxide and resulting in the chemiliocines and these events are followed by activation of metabolic process by activation of the egg and changes which protect the egg against phyllospermy and that's all for the for the sea urchin reports by Alvin D. Trinkel from BSF3A. Thank you and God bless.